This brand new Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee is filled with cutting edge technology. It cost $1 billion and has set new standards in green production. Here, the modern motor industry is tackling 21st century environmental issues with high technology. So, how do they do it? This factory boasts a 400-strong robot army employing a cutting-edge laser welding technology. The diode disc lasers used here are seven times more efficient than conventional lasers, saving 222,000 kilowatt hours of electricity each year. That's enough to power the average American home for two decades. The difficulty is, as the robots weld, their electrodes heat up. If they heat up too much, they lose their accuracy. The robots, as we're welding, you know, we're basically fusing two sheets of metal together. So in order to keep those copper electrodes cool, we have to circulate water through the end of the electrodes. Maintaining a constant flow of water to cool down more than 400 robots would require over 290,000 gallons a year. Not exactly green. So the factory uses rainwater. But how do you collect and recycle rainwater on this scale? This factory roof may look flat, but it is in fact slightly sloped. Rainwater trickles into five different drains and is sent down to the concrete basin. The rainwater is cooled by fans in the roof and then used for everything from cooling robots to flushing the toilets. So the cool water is actually pumping into the tips to keep cool. Once the water circulates through, it goes back into the hot water, and it's just a continuous loop in the body shop. And the green theme continues throughout the factory. In most car plants, the paint shop consumes between 60 and 70 percent of the energy used and creates substantial toxic waste. CEO Frank Fisher wanted his plant to be different. Here we have a paint shop which is at least 20 percent less in terms of energy consumption and also less in terms of water consumption. But there's still the issue of the final paint coats. Most factories paint cars in color batches. This leads to significant wastage when the system is purged of the old color and a new batch is begun. At the Volkswagen factory, an automated reader identifies the car and the desired color. Then a robot changes the paint heads on the fly. This shifts the color automatically without the need for purging. Even with robots, a substantial amount of paint is spilled or oversprayed. In most factories, this would be washed away, creating toxic waste good only for the landfill. But here, the paint is carried to a dry filtration system below. What we have inside is just an air hopper. The air pipes that you just heard, every three minutes, this will make a spurt and the paint overspray from the booth itself, instead of getting captured by the water, will get covered with this limestone material. And if you can look up into the top of the scrubber, you can see the filter material that actually it gets collected on. The limestone covered paint isn't toxic waste. It's actually a useful material, and Volkswagen's president of manufacturing, Don Jackson, is proud of the process. We use a limestone filter. We can charge this filter with the actual overspray. We can actually discharge it and make concrete out of it later on. So it's completely environmental friendly. And the paint jobs are really good too. And it's not just the processes that are environmentally friendly. Even the site has been recycled. An old munitions plant replaced by this state-of-the-art factory. The sustainability that was a very important factor in order to design the plant. Let's start with the thickness of the walls you see here in order to insulate against heat in summer, but also against cold in winter. And it doesn't stop with the factory itself. Most car plants distribute their completed vehicles on trucks. This one cuts the environmental cost by using rail. Rail cars that you're looking at can hold 15 cars apiece and we'll load six rail cars in a row, as you can see down the, uh, down the rail. And we'll load approximately 550 to 600 cars out of the facility a day. This Chattanooga train drops off at 16 points across the USA. 
three in Canada, and one in Mexico. Only when they're in the right region are the cars transferred to trucks. It's a tight fit, but after time you get used to it. We can ship more by rail than we can by truck, so it's a less of an environmental impact for the shipping. 85% of our vehicles will be leaving Chattanooga by rail and 15% by truck. The auto industry has long stood in the firing line of environmentalists, but technical advances at this factory suggest the future's bright. The future is green.